On October 7th, the Associated Press reported that Russia had successfully tested a hypersonic cruise missile. Why is that newsworthy? And should other countries like the US be concerned? Today I'm going to be reading the article that talks about this event and I'm going to explain some of the more technical details and what this means to the US military and its capabilities. All right, so Russia reports a successful test of the launch hypersonic missile. Putin on Wednesday hailed a successful test launch of the new Zircon hypersonic cruise missile as a big event for the country. Speaking to Putin via a video call, Russian General Staff Chief Valery Gerezmov said that the test launch took place on Tuesday from the Admiral Groshka frigate located in the White Sea in the north of Russia. Equipping our armed forces, the Army, and the Navy with the latest truly unparalleled weapon systems will certainly ensure the defense capability of our country in the long term, said Putin, who is celebrating his 68th birthday on Wednesday. I don't care. In 2019, Putin said that the Zircon would be capable of flying at nine times the speed of sound and have a range of about a thousand kilometers or 620 miles. So not a lot of info there. But let me go ahead and rehash the details of this article. So essentially what they're saying is that they successfully tested a hypersonic cruise missile. A cruise missile is just a low flying missile, but the hypersonic part of that phrase is what really matters here. The US currently has zero hypersonic weapons, as I stated in a previous video, meaning that this might just be one of the biggest threats to US national security that there is. The US currently has no hypersonic weapon deterrent systems, meaning that we would have little to no defense against a weapon of this caliber. The US has no hypersonic missiles currently in action, but both Russia and China have claimed that they have operating hypersonic weapons. The difference here is that the operating weapons from Russia and China that are currently in operation are hypersonic glide vehicles, which means they will launch really high up in the atmosphere and then they drop down and they glide at hypersonic speeds, hence hypersonic glide vehicle. However, the cruise missile is different because it's able to sustain those hypersonic speeds and maintain a low altitude. That means they can literally fly under the radar and avoid detection, meaning that they can not only traverse ridiculous amounts of distance in a ridiculously small amount of time, but they can also strike their targets with almost little to no detection, meaning they could strike quickly and effectively without being detected in time to intercept the missile. Now the good news here is that the article said that there's only about a thousand kilometers of range. So as long as a Russian ship stays about a thousand kilometers away from our shoreline, we're pretty much safe from that unless you live in Alaska. And I can see Russia from my house. So if you haven't already seen my video about supersonic and hypersonic flight, make sure you check out that video. Thank you so much for watching and Godspeed.